last video, we introduced the concept of analog numbers and voltages. In this lesson, we will formally introduce the analog to digital converter, commonly called an ADC or an A2D, and how these devices work. In this video, we're just going to show you a quick preview of what's to come in this lesson's handout. There are many different types of analog to digital converters available, but the most common is usually referred to as a successive approximation converter. While the following figure here may look intimidating, the attached handout will show you step by step how the successive approximation analog to digital converter works. For now, just know that the analog input voltage is compared to a reference voltage which is successfully moved closer and closer to the analog input voltage. This will build up the binary output one bit at a time from the analog to digital converter. After explaining how the successive approximation analog to digital converter works, we will show you how binary numbers approximate their analog equivalents for the stream of successively smaller fractions. In this example here, we have a 12 bit binary number 0110100010. Each bit of this number can be represented by a fraction which is a negative power of 2, that is, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth. 1 16th, and so forth. To build up our number, we simply add up the fractions that correspond to a high bit in our original binary value. For this example, we have 1 4th plus 1 8th plus 1 32nd plus 1 2048th, which adds up to a fraction of 833 2048ths. Therefore, this binary number represents an analog equivalent of approximately 41% of the analog to digital converter's maximum value. Again, we will see many more examples of this in the attached handout. While all of this may seem a little overwhelming at first, please know that we are here to help. Analog to digital converters are not trivial peripherals, and understanding how they work takes a little patience. As you work your way through the handout, you will be writing programs and building a few simple analog circuits. These will provide several opportunities for you to see how your microcontroller's analog to digital converter works and how you can use an analog value as an input to your program. Again, if you have any questions, please, please ask. We are here to help you succeed.